I've been asked this question quite often, so I'm going to do a video on it. What is the best non-toxic uh, vegetable wash? Okay. Well, the answer is hydrogen peroxide. Let me explain. What's unique about hydrogen peroxide is that it's H2O2 and it breaks down into water and oxygen. And our body actually makes it. Our immune cells called phagocytes actually make hydrogen peroxide as a defense mechanism. That's one of their weapons that they use to kill off pathogens, okay? So the unique thing about hydrogen peroxide is that it can kill off microbes and it can remove to a very large degree the chemicals that kill off microbes like insecticides, fungicides, herbicides, and pesticides. So side means kill, kill insects, kill funguses, kill weeds, kill pests. So hydrogen peroxide has the ability to degrade and get rid of the chemicals as well as the microbes. The problem with being exposed to these poisons is that they're fat soluble and they get locked into our fat cells, into our organs, into our neurological tissue and our brain. And even if you're doing organic vegetables, they still use some form of pesticide or herbicide or fungicide. It's obviously not as toxic, but sometimes they use certain things. So hydrogen peroxide is a really good solution. There are other things you can use, but I like hydrogen peroxide because it breaks down into water and oxygen. Now, the thing you need to know about hydrogen peroxide is you have food grade and you have regular hydrogen peroxide. I don't recommend getting the regular hydrogen peroxide. That would be something that they would sell at the drugstore. The problem with that is they add stabilizers and probably a, roughly around four chemicals to, to help stabilize hydrogen peroxide and those are toxic. And so we don't want those residues on our food. So you wanna get food grade. But the thing about hydrogen peroxide is it's very unstable. So it doesn't last a long time. So if you actually buy hydrogen peroxide, it may last uh, six months, and then eventually breaks down into water in oxygen. Now, when you buy the food grade, sometimes it comes in 35% concentration. You'd want to get the one that actually is 3% because 35% is very, very, very concentrated. So you'd have to dilute that and then dilute it again before using it in this wash. So if you just buy the 3%, it's gonna be a lot easier. Then you're gonna dilute this by a ratio of one fourth of a cup of food grade hydrogen peroxide to one gallon of water, okay? And then you can soak your vegetables in there for about 20 minutes, and then you can dry them out and you can store them in the refrigerator. Now, hydrogen peroxide can be used for a lot of different things, a mouthwash, it can be used to help remove tartar because it kills biofilms, okay? That's, that's placking on your teeth. Some people use it as a deodorant. And of course, I'm talking about diluting it first, okay? Not a higher concentration. You're gonna burn your skin. You can use it as a disinfectant. Let's say, for example, you wanna clean your counter or cooking surfaces. It's great for that. It's good for ear infections, sore throats. You can gargle with it, acne, athlete's foot and the list goes on and on and on. Like I said before, hydrogen peroxide is, is a very good thing to use because when you apply it correctly, it can be very non-toxic and your body makes it, it gets rid of microbes and the chemicals that actually kill microbes. You know, when people have an insect problem or some, I don't know, like ant problem, or they call a local company that comes out and then sprays either the inside of their house or the outside of their house. And a lot of people don't even think twice of what's happening. They're actually spraying these deadly chemicals and they're usually in this fully protected suit spraying this chemical inside your house or outside your house. And uh, these are poisons and they can be carcinogens. And a lot of people do it and they don't even think twice. So the next time you actually consider doing that, I would find out what type of spray they're using and you do the research, do a really good deep dive and find out what they're spraying to make sure that you want that around your house. Because yes, it will kill insects, but it can linger for months and months and months before it breaks down. Plus your pet gets it on their fur, they bring it in the house, and then it gets on you. There are some very, very natural, uh, good non-toxic things to use if you have pests around your house or in your garden. Neem oil is a really good one. You can use diluted vinegar 
You can use Castile soap diluted. One teaspoon in a quart of water works really, really good. This helps dissolve the membrane of the microbe. You can also use diatomaceous earth. And this is a really good non-toxic way of killing microbes around your house. So anyway, I wanted to give you this quick non-toxic uh, vegetable wash that you can make very, very inexpensively. Now, since we're on the topic of poisons, you may wanna watch this video on how the liver uh, deactivates or dismantles poisons from your body right here.